got a gorgeous Indonesian satay sauce for you here, which I would love to pair with my almost nasi goreng. Today we're gonna to be using chicken skewers. So the first thing that I wanna do is marinate those put them aside and then we can get started on our satay sauce. So we've got some ketchup manis, a nice Indonesian sweet, thick soy. So be quite generous with this. This is going to help caramelize the outside, give it a really sweet flavor and lovely stain. Some peanut oil. We've got some turmeric here. So the ketchup manis will actually help it stick to the pan. The peanut oil will help it not stick to the pan. So. Got to use a little bit of both and I'm going to brush that onto these guys so I'll just mix it with my brush as well. So this is as simple as our marinade is. Just make sure it's thoroughly combined there before I brush it on. And then we can leave our chicken skewers to chill minimum 20 minutes but you could do them overnight if you needed to. If it's cold enough that you can leave them on your bench top just make sure that it's covered. All right so we'll brush brush our marinade on, then we'll flip our skewers over. So if you weren't a chicken fan, you could use other proteins, absolutely. Or you could even do little tofu skewers. <laughs> the smell of the turmeric and the ketchup manis is already <laughs> exciting my palate. We've got a piece of chicken trying to escape our clutches. We'll flip that over. We'll make sure that we get some of this marinade on all sides so there's no boring bits. I'm choosing chicken thigh fillets for this particular recipe. A lot more fat and flavor, but also they're a little bit more robust so they can hold, they can take a bit more cooking without drying out, which is what we want to be able to get a nice char on the outside, making sure that they're thoroughly cooked on the inside. So our chicken can just sit there while we prepare our sauce. So I've got a little bit of that leftover peanut oil because this really is all about the peanuts. So we're going to stir fry some garlic and some shallots. Now this is quite a chunky sauce and it's going to really stick to our skewers. They really are just a vessel for the sauce. <laughs> so we've got some chili powder here. You can add more if you wish. So if you want, if you like a little bit more bite, please by all means go for it. So then we have some roasted belachan, so some shrimp paste. This is when it's gonna get stinky, but all of that stink is total tastiness in our dish. So we've also got some palm sugar. So these are all quite traditional ingredients. We're gonna use two little blocks. They've already portioned them for us, which is very handy indeed. So by watching everything that I've been doing in previous recipes, you already know how you could make this gluten-free and sugar-free by utilizing those ingredients. We're making a very traditional one today. So I'm just gonna start to break those ingredients up and they'll soften even further when we add all of our liquids. Starting to get stinky in here, all the flavor. Just wanna give that a little bit of toasting time before I add our other ingredients which will give the, the palm sugar enough time to melt and dissolve, start to caramelize. So we also have some tamarind, which is a nice sour element. So this is essentially a celebration of a peanut sauce, but it's got all of these extra bits that sort of complement and celebrate the peanuts. So it just makes it, if anything, extra peanutty. <laughs> I'm gonna pop our peanuts in now. So we've just crushed these in a food processor. So there's a variety of textures in there. Some is almost paste-like and it'll soften a little bit further as we go. I want to coat those nuts in all of those flavors before I add our coconut milk. So I just wanna make sure that all of that flavor is really building in there. I'm gonna add some water at this stage so that they can soften and simmer a little bit before we add our coconut milk. So we know we've got our, our sweet, our salty, our toasty nuts. And we'll season a little bit towards the end with some more ketchup manis. I'm gonna give that about five minutes at this point and then we'll add the other ingredients. So 
So I've just moved our sauce to a, a lower, a smaller burner. It's reduced by about a quarter. I wouldn't mind getting to about half so it's even thicker, which we should be able to do in the same time it takes for us to cook our chicken. So I've got our griddle pan on. If you're doing this outside, you could easily do it on a barbecue. Griddle pan on high, some nice heat coming off there. Nice sizzle. Excellent. So by the time our chicken is cooked, we might turn it two or three times. Our sauce should be ready and we can serve up. So I'm really happy with the char on the outside of my chicken skewers. You can see how that turmeric has really stained the flesh. So these already look good before we're adding our sauce. While our sauce has been reducing, I have adjusted the seasoning slightly with a little bit of extra ketchup manis and some tamarind. I just wanted the sour notes kicked up a little bit. So this is a great reminder that our recipes are a guide on the website. So use that as a starting, a starting place, adjust it to your taste. And I mean, some ingredients can change between brands, if it's sauces, between ripeness, if it's to do with seasonality. So we're gonna serve this with a sprinkling of spring onion, a few more nuts to remind us that this is a peanut heavy dish, not one for our friends with nut allergies, unfortunately. And then making sure that we've got a really generous portion of this sauce. So this dish really is, well, the recipe is all about the sauce. As I said, you could serve it with whichever protein you would like. You can bottle this sauce as well if you want to save some for later. Get a few more of those chunky bits. Nearly overflowing, making it slightly difficult for our diners. And there's our beautiful Indonesian satay, satay sauce chicken. So even though this is a favorite to order out, you now know how to make it in. So give it a try. I think you're really gonna love it.